Okay, how much money does a guy need to earn to date you? 500K. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what? Nice. Yeah. Saying, Whoa. <laughs> you realize that's, that's like 1%. That's 1%. One percent. That's that's one that's percent. Possible. What's that's possible, possible isn't necessarily <laughs> probable. And you have how many kids? Three. You are a sex worker, you're an escort. It, Shouldn't you adjust your standards to be a no. little more realistic? No. You'd rather be alone than lower your standards from yes. 500K a year. I mean, I got other standards too, but it's like <laughs> that money-wise, yes. What are your other dude. standards? <laughs> I mean, so, I don't want a short dude. How tall are you? 5'2", five, 5'3". Five, What's the minimum height for a guy? Six foot or taller, but that's like the basic. So 500K, six feet and over. What are your other standards? I want him to be okay with me having a past. And do you think, you gotta, you gotta ask yourself, Okay, here's all that I want, but what does the guy that I want, what does he want? She got all those standards and still got knocked up three times. The delusion is crazy. No man in their right mind making $500,000 will want to be with a single mom of three plus she's an escort. What is the point of making all that money and settling for a woman like that? I hope she likes being single because she's going to be single for a long time. Sometimes I just wonder if these women with ridiculous standards like her hear themselves when they talk. It's like some people live in a fantasy world where they think they can demand the moon and stars without considering their own situation. A single mom of three, especially one working as an escort, setting such high financial expectation for a partner is just unrealistic. Most men who earn that kind of money are looking for someone who can match their lifestyle and ambitions, not someone bringing extra, extra baggage. This generation is too far gone. What's even more baffling is the sense of entitlement. It's one thing to have standards, but when those standards are widely out of touch with reality, it just comes off as delusional. In her case, I don't think there's anything she can bring to the table to make a man make him 500k to want her. She's really setting herself up for disappointment. She needs a reality check and maybe some personal growth before expecting Prince Charming to roll up with half a million dollars. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments down below.